Hi, I'm Dr. Julie Steinauer, and today I'm talking about depth perception. I have a little book just to show you that this is one of the tests that we utilize in the office to test depth perception or the ability to see things in 3D. And what's interesting on this one is that it doesn't just mean that you're going to have difficulty seeing and watching a 3D movie if you have problems with depth perception. You will have difficulty watching a movie. You might feel dizzy, disoriented. It might make you sit, you know, sick to your stomach or queasy. Um, some people even throw up if they're watching some sort of depth perception movie and they don't have great 3D. Other people will just say like it wasn't that thrilling because it looked kind of flat. For those of us who have great depth perception, it's very difficult to understand what it means when things look flat. But when we put these glasses on to do this test, and I'll just kind of show you, in this book, everything of course looks flat to you in video, but those wings pop out about right here on this fly for me when I'm doing this in 3D. And these little buttons over here, they pop out too. The farther you go and the harder you get on the level of depth perception, the, least, the lesser that they pop out. But what happens for someone who doesn't have good depth perception is this all looks flat and they can't see things popping out of the page. So in a real world situation walking around, they have difficulty judging depth and distances for stopping whenever they're driving a car. Um, they may have difficulty judging where to throw the ball whenever they're playing in the outfield or grounding using a, um, trying to ground a ball. Um, they may have lots of difficulty with grabbing things off of the table, so they may actually be clumsy when they're little and knock table um, things over on the table, like a glass of milk instead of grabbing for it. Um, I've done this before, you may do this one, but you might walk into a wall or a corner of a door jam. So our door's over there, and I've hit my shoulder a few times on that. If your depth perception is off, mine is not thankfully, but sometimes I just don't pay attention. You may do those things on a regular basis and not realize that it's a depth perception problem. If you have more questions about depth perception, you can certainly call us, but also go to our website and look up information there at visionforlifeworks.com. Thank you.